Now, what we're going to do is we are going to be adding some stitches onto the element that we are working with. So you can see the stitches here along the side onto the border. We're going to create something like that. So it will look like this here. This piece is actually stitched onto the body of the jacket. And we're going to be using the crease brush for that, which is basically this brush right here. It's right below the inflate brush. And before we go ahead and use that, we could add some more subdivision level here for our multi-resolution. -res yeah, we could crank up the level here because if you only have level up to three, I don't think you're going to be able to sculpt enough of the detail for the stitch because it's very refined, the stitches. So if you guys could go ahead and crank up the multi-resolution. I'm going to subdivide it up to five. If you could handle, if your computer could handle up to just to four, subdivision four level, then that's what you have to stick to. But my computer could handle up to five. And I'm going to go ahead and go to sculpt mode. Let's go ahead and use the crease brush right here. You could press N as in nanny, and you could go to the tool tab here. And this is another easy way to just look at the properties for your parameters for the brushes. But we could go ahead and go to our stroke. Make sure you have stabilized stroke turned on. And let's go to the properties for the stabilized stroke. The higher the value, the more you're going to be able to draw a straight line. Um, we don't need it that high. So I'm going to go bring it down slightly. We could always go ahead and mess around with that again if we need to. Now, the important part that you need to look at is this area right here where you have the spacing and you have the dash ratio. Okay, for the dash ratio, let's go ahead and set it to about 0.5. And let's go ahead and test this out. You gotta bring down the brush size. Maybe something like this. And let's go ahead and just test this out. Okay, so it's not deep enough. Let's go ahead and increase the strength. Increase the strength of your brush. Okay, that's too much, too deep. I'm gonna bring down the strength. Okay, so maybe uh, bring it down slightly. And also the brush size is too large. I'm gonna bring it down. Bring down the brush size. Let's see here. Hmm. Could probably set the radius for the brush size to about eight. And let's test it out. You see from afar. Okay, that's probably okay. Let me see if we start doing this here. You could increase the strength. I'm gonna set it to 0.6. This requires for you to kind of just mess around with it. See from afar. And let me see here. Might be too deep. I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 0.5 and test it out again. All right, I think this is okay. And we could go ahead and increase the stabilized stroke. I think this will help us out slightly makes it a little larger so we could draw a straighter line. Okay, let's go ahead and begin doing this here. I'm gonna bring down my brush size to seven. Okay, so maybe something like this would be good. And just gonna go around you want it really close to the edge. Um, I think it's still too far off the edge. And we could go ahead and also mess around with the spacing. Right now I have it at 10%. Let me test it out if I have it at 5%. Okay, I think that is better. It looks more believable that way. And we could also increase the strength. I'm going to go ahead and set the 0.6. Maybe 0.55. Mm, 
I'll set it to 0.57. Okay, I think this this will be good enough. And go ahead and start doing this. Going all around. And Picking up where we left off here. I think it's getting a little too... Alright, so something this... Move to here. And... Yeah, I think I could make it all the way up to there. Go. And then on to the other side here. I, I think, yeah, I'm going to go from here on down. Okay. Need to make it slightly farther. Alright, so I think that is it for the stitch area.